morning it is February 28th uh, as you can kind of see spring is upon us kinda we're melting a little bit there's a little bit of green grass in there here and there we gotta go to the shop and make a bunch of pro shots because spring is pretty much here uh, before I know it I'll be driving a boat so I gotta make like a couple hundred packs of St. Lawrence Gobi um, and then I got some custom order stuff some St. Lawrence Gobi gator shads that we gotta make up um, I don't know if it'll be anything super crazy probably won't be anything like really clickbaity but we'll just go through the process of making baits and uh, you know but uh, yeah I'll uh, see you at the shop Alright guys, we're at the shop, we got my custom drop shot mold in the vise, time to pump out a bunch of these Gobi colors. Uh, I'm going to vaguely show you how to make this color, I'm not going to get like super super specific, but um, I am going to show you how to get like approximately there. We got six cups of plastic heated up, three in each cup. This one right here is my top, and this one right here is my bottom. Uh, floating, sinking, uh, dead on worm blend. To make the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and take some of this blue highlight powder. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, it is 135 is the number from uh, from lure craft or lure works I guess this is a lure works powder so we're gonna go ahead and get some of this in there and then we're gonna go a little bit of uh, mine dust from dead on just to give it a little bit of actual color four drops there get that stirred in And with these uh, mica powders, you're going to have to stir in quite a bit more than you do with the colorant because they'll kind of glob up a little bit. So you want to make sure you really get that uh, stirred in pretty well. I'll give you a uh, close-up of this color. You see it's got pretty good blue shine to it there. And that's pretty much what you're looking for on this bottom here and for our top we're going to go ahead and put in some of this lure works brown oxide 113 is the color number give it a good shake Get about, I would say probably 40, 50 drops in there. Go ahead and stir that up. You're looking for a uh, fairly see through brown there. We're going to get some Lure Craft Green Pumpkin. Right about the same, another 40 drops. Just trying to green it up a little bit. Get 
And then we're going to take some lure craft. This is uh, motor oil. Get a good helping of that in there as well. Perfect. Right where we want to be. At least I think we are. Looks like we are. May have to darken it up a little bit after the first shot, but I think we're looking pretty good. Then we're going to go some uh, Lure Works copper string. Um, I would say probably ballpark of a uh, quarter teaspoon of that. We're going to get some Lure Works purple string. Probably a half teaspoon of that. Not quite a bit of purple in there. Purple doesn't really show up all that well when you're shooting baits, so it, it has a tendency to melt and kind of dissipate. We're going to get some sparkled pearl in there just to give it a little bit of sheen. Get some black 015 hex cup. Just a little bit. Get some black 35 hex cup. Right, equal parts. A little bit more than that, maybe. I'm going to take some black string cup. What is that? 6 2 string cup. Same thing, equal parts. Some gunmetal 1.5. Pretty light on that. Some gold 1.5. Pretty light on that too. And then some green 6.2 string cut. Or no, this isn't 6-2, is it? Yeah, this is 6-2. All right, green 6-2 string cut. Get a little bit of that in there. Okay, without getting too much glitter on the camera here, I'll show you what we're dealing with. So you can see there's our big wad of glitter. I'm going to go ahead and just stir that all in there, like so. what you get right there that's the color we're going to be working with whether it's on that knife is pretty much the viscosity we got okay now that that's all stirred in there we got our uh, got our safety gloves ready there and there twin injector blending block bass tackle molds uh, that's where I got those guys from Seems to do the trick for now, anyways. And we'll go ahead and get these guys shot nice and tight in there. Both tops are facing this direction. You want to make sure that they're facing the same, otherwise, you shoot them all kinds of walked up. Twin injector. Go ahead and grab a good bunch of this plastic here. And we'll get to shooting. Top that screw off good. Keep steady pressure. And top this one off. Get our excess back into our cups fast as we can, just about. Try to keep it warm. And now when you're using that blending block, you'll have this little tag pop up on the first one you shot. And then you just want to make sure you get that opened up a little bit and then pour some excess on top of that as well as the one you just did. Uh, it has to do with when the uh, when the block hits the top of the mold, it flash cools and then it'll draw from the inside of the sprue. Um, and for whatever reason, I'm assuming it has to do with cavity count. 
these molds, uh, it seems to be molds that have large numbers of cavities, why I say that. Uh, these molds just draw tons of plastic. Um, the other ones that draw a lot of plastic are your Senko molds. Sometimes you'll have to top those sprue off twice. Uh, but like smaller baits, like uh, like this dumbbell grub here, you'll never have to top the sprue off. There's just not enough plastic. So when it cools, it just doesn't draw like these guys do. Um, but man, it sure does seem like these ones draw an awful lot. Go ahead and clean our injector off get those uh, separated and ready for reheat when we go to reheat all this stuff up and go for our next couple of runs here get it cleaned out they should be ready to crack open here so we'll go ahead and pull the sprue tops off get right rid of them so there'll be nothing but in the way go ahead and crack these bad boys open here There's the upper, and there's that blue highlight bottom we were looking for. They turned out pretty good. They could be a little bit darker up on the top, like I kind of figured. So we'll uh, we'll darken that top up a little bit, and then uh, get right into a time lapse, and uh, we'll see how many of these bad boys we can crank out here in an hour and a half or so. the gobies we didn't do a hundred bags like thought we would we only did like 70 bags or something one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we only did 50 bags so there they are all sitting pretty they turned out really good hopefully everybody digs this uh blue highlight bottom that we got on them uh if that is the case, then I'll be really happy that I made the decision, but those baits are going to be, I mean, they were really good last year with just a gray bottom, so that blue highlight, I mean, if it's really as big a deal as everybody's, those right there are going to be straight fire. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and, you know, it really helps to push my business in a way that would bottom line is really I guess it, it would it would really profit me if you like to subscribe this video because long term I would really like to get monetized and really like to be doing this for you guys for a living I mean or at least you know a part of my living uh, any any love and support you guys can show me would be really appreciated um, hopefully you learned something if you have any questions drop a comment below it, it it costs you zero dollars drop a comment and i'm gonna answer it I, I don't think i've even gotten a single comment on one of my videos yet so if you have any questions just drop a comment um i'd be happy to answer anything i can and if i can i'll put you in touch with somebody that can answer your question or at least give you a link or whatever uh, i'll do everything i can to help you guys out it means a lot to me um yeah have a great day